What's going on, you guys? This is John Klein with Vision 360 Financials here to bring you another great video. So today's video is going to be on investing and what an investor really is. So an investor, in complete simple terms, is somebody who basically invests in things that actually bring real assets. And that can be tangible or it can be paper or it can be physical. So some examples are somebody like a real estate investor, for example, they invest in real estate and real in the real estate is it's a real asset. And that asset class is something that you can actually walk on and or be at. And the nice thing about that is, is that it's tangible in the fact that it's not like a paper stock to where it can just be completely shredded up and worth nothing at all. You know, the land is always going to be there, even if the house burns down. Plus, also, you should have insurance, so that makes it great because you should be covered for that. Now, take, for example, on the inverse of that, you have a stock, and a stock is basically a it is a share in a company, and the company issues out so many different shares that it has, and basically you own a piece of that corporation or that company. Now, there's some benefits to this and some drawbacks. So the benefits to this is it's very liquidable. So it's easy to liquidate, easy to get rid of. You can buy and sell and trade these literally daily while the New York Stock Exchange and the stock exchange is open globally. So there's a lot of pros to that. And you can buy and sell multiple times a day. And a lot of brokerages have made it either free, if not almost free, to buy and sell and trade stocks for U.S. listed companies anyways. So it's highly liquidable. The downside to that is, is when we see a crash, they are one of the quickest and easiest things that go down in value. They go down way faster than any real estate. Real estate typically takes quite a bit of time. You're talking months, if not years, before it hits rock bottom and or goes way up. Versus stocks, it can happen overnight. And it can also have the inverse and drop overnight. So there's a lot of pros and cons, right? But at hand, an investor invests between the, a lot of those two asset classes, and then they also will invest in other passive income streams. So from the stock side, you can get dividend investment, right? And dividends are just cash flow that a company pays out to reward its shareholders for owning its stock. On the flip side is real estate, you get cash flow in the form of rental payments, and that pays down the mortgage, pays your insurance, all your expenses, and that can also be sort of passive if you have it set up correctly. I'm not going to get too far into it because it's just an overview, right, for an investor, but bottom line is there's, you know, those are two asset classes that an investor would invest in. And an investor's mindset is, how can I grow my wealth as much as possible with not really, you know, having to take as much um, of a passive, to, to take a greater passive approach to the investment sphere itself. So how can I grow my wealth with the least amount of work on my end? Now, not all investors think that way. Some of them are more active and some of them are more passive. But an active one would be like a day trader or somebody that's constantly flipping properties versus a passive one would be somebody that invests for rental income and or invests in long-term dividend paying stocks. So those are two differences right there. Investors typically seek value and over speculation. Uh, and when they do do speculation, it's usually highly uh, researched and thought about and or it's a small percentage of their portfolio that they're willing to get rid of if it indeed it becomes worthless. So you know, new IPOs in companies that are just going public, that would be like a speculative bet or like a uh, new development for an area for real estate that could have been having had a bad previous history that could be very speculative if they think that it's going to go way up though in that market. Now, basically a conclusion is an investor is somebody, a person that invests to either be active and or passive in their investments, and they seek to obtain the most and best profitable margins throughout their time frame. And the time frames can be anywhere from days to years or decades. So it just depends on your mindset. But as a whole, I'm almost positive most of you guys would want to work to be an investor. It's a lot better being an investor 
than being a W-2 income earner for your entire life. So that kind of wraps up today's video for our investor. If you guys have any questions or comments about that, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Also hit that bell notification and subscribe so you're alerted for new videos as I'm going to be posting more. And I hope you guys all have a great evening. Peace.